Well, hey, everybody. It's Josh with Retro TV One Tech. Welcome. We are going to have a lot of fun today playing WDW Magical Racing Tour or Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. So I get to combine both my love for Disney and my love for retro gaming. So you saw the cover. Um, this is the game we're going to be playing. I actually bought this a long, long time ago. So I have an original copy of it. So pretty cool. Sorry about the reflection there, but there you go. So this is the game we're going to be playing. And actually, I have it hooked up to my computer CD-ROM drive here. Um, big thanks to Downscale, who helped me get it working on Windows 10, because obviously I can't stream. The game's written for Windows 98. I cannot stream on Windows 98, so uh, I suppose you could, but that would take a lot of work. But anyway, so here we are playing this game on Windows 10, and there are hacks that make it work on that game. So super excited to play that and uh, enjoy some time with you guys. And of course, this is our first time live after the hurricane, so we're doing good. I didn't want to go live on Resort TV One because there really wasn't much to say about the hurricane. Um, it was scary. It was intense. Uh, we'll talk about it more tomorrow. We will have Friday Night Live, uh, and I may be live tomorrow morning when the parks reopen. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of. It's a great game. Share us out with all your friends, and uh, we're going to be playing just one game tonight. I'm not going to be live super long, uh, but it's going to be super, super fun. So let me say hi to everybody, and then we'll jump right into the game. Let's see, we have uh, we have Scott Shear, Hannah, Troy, Jerry, Craig's Robotics, Rockstar, Nicole, Vicky, Rhonda, Jerry, Mom, hey Mom and Dad, Kitsune Metal, SM Disner, Mike, Rosebud, Rockstar, Craig's Robotics, John, uh, there's Mom and Dad again, Trey Guard, Rockstar, uh, Eric, Kevin, Queen of Awesomeness, Ricky, Consumer Compute, hello, <laughs> hey Eric, hey Craig's Robotics, hey Kelly, all right, well welcome everybody, super, super fun, excited to do this game, uh, when, I, when I load it up, uh, I have to load it from the hard drive and the CD, the way the game is written. And uh, it does some weird things at the beginning. It takes over my whole screen. So I'm not sure if you'll see the intro graphics. It's going to go, it may go black for a little bit. But once it comes out of the intro, which I can't skip, then you'll be able to see everything. So yeah, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, hopefully we get more of the Resort TV One people over here. Because this is a, um, this is definitely a, uh, a Disney game. So it'll be a lot of fun. Can't believe how old I am, 32. Yeah, for sure, Eric. Uh, let's see, Brooke, Cheryl, Cameron, Jerry, Maddie, Roger, Kathy, Kyle, Kim, G. Wilson, Tom, Timothy, Jen, Rockstar, uh, Delmo, Diane, Kathy, Addie, Jay Mercedes, Dad Lorian, Katie, Carl Superventure, and Sandy Pandy. And let me check one more thing I've got to do real quick here to make sure that I've got my, um, I want to make sure that I've got my camera added onto the other one so you guys can see my reactions as I'm playing the game here. Uh, so I'm going to add that into the, um. There we go. I'm going to add that into the game here um, so you get to see me playing as well as the game itself. There we go. Okay, so that should help. Um, so then we go back there and good. All right, perfect. So anyway, uh, so thanks for being here, everybody. This is going to be awesome. And uh, we're going to jump right into the game here in just a second. Three in a row. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have we're going to definitely um, have a great time, by the way, tomorrow on Resort TV one as well. So stay if you're not on Resort TV one, our main channel, definitely go over there. That's our Disney channel. But we're kind of doing a crossover here doing Disney and uh, YouTube together and Disney and tech together, I should say, on YouTube. So anyway, uh, there's Vicky, there's Eric, Carly. Um, how's it going, Bella? Anyone excited for Hocus Pocus 2? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, I forgot about that, John. Hey, Tara. Hey, Horizons. Uh, JC played a lot of the game on P a PS1. Yeah, it's a great game. The tracks are almost identical. Uh, I believe the graphics are a little better on PC. Believe it or not, I can run it in 4K on this monitor, but I'm going to do it in 1080p for now. Stephanie, glad to be safe for sure. Uh, Kitsune Metals here in New England Coastal Scenery. And Karen Bloom, thanks for subscribing. Awesome, awesome. All right. <laughs> Oh, and I'm going to add a subscriber uh, alert on my other screen, too, because I definitely want you guys to get a shout out if you subscribe to the channel. So we appreciate anybody who who joins us on the uh, on the new channel. So. All righty. Well, are you guys ready to get started? Let's get right into the game here. OK, there we go. Uh, so hello. Oh, we got 200 people watching. Wow. Make sure you subscribe here to uh, Retro TV One and Resort TV One. Hello, Roger Figment fan. Diane, do you have the D show? I don't have that one. Hey, Z-Free. Hey, Contessa. We're waiting Ian and SC. Yeah, be careful. Uh, definitely, hopefully, it's not as strong for you guys. Uh, we went through here last night about its Category 1 or 2. It uh, definitely got my attention. It was very intense. Uh, we'll talk about it more tomorrow. But, you know, um, we didn't get much sleep, so I did sleep this afternoon a little bit because we had to. I didn't want to go to sleep, and it would get really intense. So, anyway, Sunshine says, I, almost, I think I once played this game. My husband, Chris, is beyond excited about your new channel. That's awesome, Josie. Uh, I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus with my family. That's awesome, Bella. Hey, Katie. 
Hey, Vicky, Sandy, Pandy, and Josie. Awesome. All right. Contessa and Z-Free. I think I said everybody. So, all right, let's go ahead and try the game. I'm going to start it up. And um, you may just hear music for a minute. So bear with me as I start it. I'll be right back. There might be a little intentional black screen. It's like intentional lag, but not quite the same. So give me just a second here. And hopefully you can still hear me. But the screen is going to go black for just a second. It might. It might not. I don't know. So actually, before I do that, let me... Uh, I'm going to switch it over to the um, to this source, and you should see it. So here we go, just a second. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, so I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but um, we're going through the intro screens right now. It's pretty cool. Something's happening. Okay, seems to still be working. I don't know if you guys are seeing this or not. I don't even know if you can hear me anymore <laughs> because it's totally taken over the screen. So we'll see if I need to reload it a different way. This game is super, super hacked. So I don't know what you're seeing or hearing right now. Uh, hopefully the stream didn't crash. <laughs> so yeah, I have tested this, but it worked when I tested it. But oh, here we go. Maybe? Yes? Yes? Okay, good. Look at that! <laughs> Isn't that cool? I'm going to fix it so it's widescreen here in a minute. <clears throat> Isn't that cool? Thanks for subscribing, Sam. Look at those 90s graphics, or 2000s graphics. Isn't that neat? Yeah, Crystal Dynamics, super, super, well, super good throwback. Welcome to Walt Disney World. All right, guys, so let me fix the graphics options here. Hold on just a second. That, this this will make it better resolution, and I have to do this every time. It won't save it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it in 19, uh, well, 1080p, I should say and 32-bit. <laughs> We're doing all the bits tonight, guys. All right, let's see, 1080. Uh, there we go, and done. And that should help us do what we need to do here. There we go, perfect. All right, awesome. So now we're in, ah, oh, Ryan, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so what do you think? Isn't that neat? And the Small World music, actually, it wouldn't, oh, whoops, hold on, I just stopped the game. Oh, there we go, okay. The Small World music actually wouldn't work um, if I hadn't got the CD in. So yeah, so that's kind of cool. This is actually not Nintendo. This is PC. It's running right on the PC. It's native PC, but luckily Windows 10 is smart enough to run a Windows 98 application if you put some tweaks into it. And big, sh big shout out to Downscale for helping me with this. So isn't that really neat? Magical. So check this out. So what I'm going to do right now <clears throat> is I'm going to go through a time trial on each level. I want you, before we do all the racing, I want you to be able to see each level without all the other characters in the way, and that way we can go slow and I can show you how cool these tracks are. Um, and it looks pretty good, actually. So yeah, isn't this neat? <laughs> the castle has bricks, yeah, and there's no 50 on the castle. What's going on with that, right? <laughs> and actually, if you look on the part where it went down Main Street, I'll reload it here later, but if you look on the Main Street part, you can actually see where it, um, it has the Emporium without the window there. Yeah, so this is a PC game from Windows 98. Oops, we're on demo mode, hold on. Let me go back, oh, well, there we go. We get to go back down the street, so watch. Here we go, we'll do it one more time through Main Street. Look at this. I mean, for the year 2000, the graphics are pretty good, actually. Look at the flower carts and stuff. You got the fire station there, and you've got all these characters standing around. And Jenna's not joining tonight, but she'll be, she'll be, she'll be, um, she will be with me tomorrow at some point. So there you can see the Emporium and the flower carts instead of the Emporium extension. Yeah, isn't that great? <clears throat> Carly says, this is fun. Yeah, Chip and Dale have teeth <laughs> issues. Starbucks is missing. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Welcome to Walt Disney World. Thanks, Jiminy. All right, so we're going to play the game now. So do a time trial. I want to be Chip. Jenna can be Dale if she plays with me next time. Let's see. Okay. All right, so let's see if we can... Yep, there we go. Thank you, Joshua, for subscribing. I appreciate that. 
So we're gonna start actually with uh, one of my favorite tracks, Pirates of the Caribbean. So check this out, guys. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. Is everybody ready for this? Let me check and make sure my uh, my joysticks, there we go, I gotta make sure my joystick's plugged in. Ooh, I better, I better double check the joystick to make sure it works. Hold on just a second. Sorry, my joystick cable. I ordered a new joystick, but my joystick cable is not, um, it's not very good right now. And obviously uh, the hurricane delayed my new joystick. So hold on just a second. I gotta make sure the controller is good. Uh, okay. Oh shoot, it didn't load the joystick. Hold on just a second, guys. We'll get it. You're the first person aside from myself that I've seen mention this game in 20 years. That's awesome. All right, bear with me, guys. I'm gonna have to reload the game. Sorry. I do want, I want the joystick. All right, so we'll be right back and you'll still be able to hear me. So I'm gonna reload the game. Okay, here we go. It's gonna go through the intro one more time, but it'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Would you like to try and play the game anyway? Of course I would. All right, bear with me. I can't see you, but you can see me. I'm sorry about this, but at least now we have the joystick. It's one of those old games where if everything's not present right when the game starts, there's no hot swappable, what they would call it. You can't hot swap it, but anyway. I always wondered how to pronounce that, by the way. E-I-D-O-S. Eidos? 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 I don't know how you say that. Eidos? Crystal Dynamics. And Disney Interactive. Did Disney Interactive still make games? I guess they do. Like Dreamlight Valley, I guess. Is that Disney Interactive? <clears throat> Alright, I'll skip the intro screen. So we'll, we'll get we'll get there. <laughs> All right, we'll start playing here in just a second. All right, here we go. Okay, Welcome I got this. Walt Disney World. All right, let me do the graphics one more time. I gotta go through all the modes. <laughs> All right, it's just a miracle this worked, and a big thank you to Downscale for his help with this. All right, it's gonna flip the screen for a second. There we go. Controls, joystick. Okay, good. Everything should be good. All right, so let's do this thing. All right, so new game. Let me chip here. Here this time, let's be R T V. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do Pirates of the Caribbean. Is everybody ready? Let's do this. You have this for my PS1. Awesome. Disney Interactive was shut down years ago. Okay. That's probably true. All right, check this out, guys. The detail in this is really cool. Hey, Snow White. Welcome, everybody. Isn't that cool? Look at this. There's the pirate with his leg hanging out. So it kind of goes slow so you can see around here a little bit. I'll try not to make you sick. This game doesn't have analog controls. It's either... Even though I'm using my analog stick, it's either on or off at this point. Isn't this cool? It's got these little things you can go through and go faster. But right now I'm just going to show you the graphics on the game. So there's the uh, there's the beach. And then we'll actually play against some other racers and show you the racing part of it. Isn't that cool? Now here's the ship. We get to go over the ship. And there we go. Almost 300 people watching. Thanks, guys. I don't know what those coins do. We're going to go this way. Stay tuned, guys, because there's a lot of really... Oops, I must have missed the I must have missed the secret path. But stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. All these levels are cool. Oh, there you go. It's a little bit out of order, but you can see the pirate, the ghost pirate there. So... I mean, they gotta still have room to actually make the game work. It does look like Mario Kart to me a little bit. Like, maybe Mario Kart uh, 64 for the GameCube a little bit with the graphics. There we go. All right, now we're in the village. Isn't this neat? You can find this game online. It's sold. I think you can download it for free. Like I said, I bought it myself, but there you go. We're in town. I used to love this when I was a kid because you could literally drive through the game. Here's the auction. There's the real redhead, guys. Look at that. It's the actual redhead. Doesn't this look fun? Look at that. <laughs> That's really cool. Do I hear 10? Who gives it 10? Let's see if they talk to you. Nope.
I see it has a dog. I think it does. I'm going to go, like, again, I'm going slow. And I'm not taking any shortcuts. So I want to show you the, the game here. Okay, let's see. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry, I can't see your name right now because my screen is blocked. But thank you for subscribing. Uh, Riley. Riley just subscribed. There, I saw it. I love that the music is on here, too. There we go. I guess it doesn't have the dog. All right, let's go fast now. Here, let's go this way this time. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Hit the wall. And let's go this way. Whoa, where am I at? I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> it's cool that they have all these secret paths and stuff. All right, so maybe I'll just do one lap on each race, and then I'll show you the and then I'll show you the next race here in a minute. So, I just love the realism of it. All right, let's see if I can let's see if I can get on the secret pathway from over here. Uh, there we go. That was cool. No, I don't know how useful it was, but it's super cool. Let's go over here this time. Keeps it interesting at trying different paths every time. I want to show you one more thing before we switch games, because we don't have to finish this three laps or anything. But here, there are there are some sound effects in this part. There we go. You'll be swimming with the sharks, Morgan. Thanks for subscribing. All right, so let's get out of this one, and I'll show you the next. Um, I'll show you the next level. Okay, so my other one of my other favorite ones, believe it or not, is is Rock and Roller Coaster. So let's check that out. Here we go, Rock and Roller Coaster. Uh, Chasing Bama, thanks for subscribing. All right, so here we go. Todd says, I love it just for the music. Hey, Strasburg Railfan, how are you? This is my new favorite game. I missed that part in the ride. I'm a redhead, so I always thought they were talking about me. Oh, that's awesome, DNA family. So look at this. Listen to this. Now, they didn't use copyrighted music here, so that's cool. Everything's a little out of order, but this is super cool for Rock and Roller Coaster. Here we are in the parking garage. Well, here we go. This is the, the All lanes open, so floor it. They really did a nice job on this game. They made it super realistic. Let's bust the sign. Nope, I wasn't going fast enough. So here we are. We're on the track. There's our 101 freeway. There's the exit signs. Like, it's really, really nice. Yeah, thanks for subscribing, everybody, and thanks for joining us. Go share us out. It's kind of cool we get to cross over Disney and Retro. This is, this is both Disney and Retro. Isn't that neat? Oh, Civic Center. I remember that sign from the from the, uh, from the regular game. Exit for rock and roll. Prepare to rock. The ending's my favorite part. So check this out. The red carpet area is so neat. Here's the VIP parking sign. And here's the red carpet. Which actually, that's right where you get out of the ride. Like right there is where you would get off the ride. And then it kind of recycles to the next part of the track. Even 20 years later, this game is still super fun. And you can go up here if you want to take a little shortcut. And we're back on the track. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so here's the part that's a little bit out of order. This is, okay, it says All Night Donuts. And I think here in just a second with the road construction sign, we're gonna go through the sign. Yes, and we're getting close to the place where it resets. Oh, here we go, the guitar. Obviously it's in the front of the game. Thanks, Troy, for subscribing. Isn't that fun? Yeah, you can download this game online in different places. You may not get the music. I had to actually use the original CD to get the music. But you can run it on your Windows PC. Um, you just have to add some different files in it to make it work. Or if you got a, if you got a PlayStation, a PS1, you can actually make it work. So, all right. So there's that, there's that level. I just want to show you each level real quick. Uh, let's go... Let's see what should we here. I'll show you which levels they have, and then you can tell me what you want to see next time. We have a haunted mansion game. Yes, we'll show haunted mansion. So we've got Typhoon Lagoon, Test Track, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, which you know isn't really over on that side of the park, but that's okay. Speedway, uh, Jungle Cruise. We have haunted mansion, Splash Mountain, Pirates, and uh, Dinosaur, and also Blizzard Beach. So let's do haunted mansion next. I think a lot of people like to see that. They have a rockin' grandma named Steven. <laughs> I didn't see Steven Tyler. 
No, actually, this isn't an emulator. This is running natively on my PC. Windows 10 does a really good job emulating or uh, making compatibility for Windows 98. Small World Bay on my head through tomorrow, yes. Oh, the Dream... Okay, the Dreamcast version looks better than PC. Well, maybe I can try that on an emulator next time. Hey, Glenn. Yeah, Dreamcast probably had better graphics than the PC at the time. So, all right, here we go. Look, my here's my Doom Buggy. I love how each vehicle is different. Like on Pirates, you had an actual boat. Isn't that cool, the gate there? Now we're going through the queue. Now this is super cool, guys. Watch this. Look at this. There's the portrait. And we're in the we're in the little queue area here, and we're gonna go in the stretch room. So there's the actual stretch room. Look at that. So we're through the load zone, and here is the place with the um, marble bus. Isn't that cool? So accurate, honestly. And then from here, uh, let's see what's over here. Um, oh, here, okay. So here is the piano. I don't think any of that helps that much. Sorry, I want to... There's secret passages, everyone. I don't want to take those because I want to show you... Um, oh, look. There's th That picture's in the ride. There we go. Okay, we're going to go upstairs now. Uh, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm making anybody sick. It's kind of hard to control. Hey, how's it going, Kevin Sparrow? There's the floating there's the floating candelabra. And again, I'm going through this slow just to show you what the game looks like. I don't know what those little circles do. There's the wallpaper. They really need to remake this game for Switch with modern graphics, honestly. It's really good. There's the uh, the guy trying to get out of the, the crypt there. You can go through the fireplace in the beginning as a shortcut. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I did that last time by accident. There's the, the clock. I believe here is the uh, seance room. Madame Leota. Yep, so there is Madame Leota right there. Problem is, when you're going super fast, that's why I'm going slow. You can't really appreciate it. Uh, here we go. Now we're... This is the fireplace right here. You can go through the fireplace, but I'm not going to do that right now. Here's the ballroom. So there you go. There's the dancing ghost. There is the organist. And you can actually go upstairs, too, but I'm going to keep going for now. Uh, hey, Kim, thanks for subscribing. Ooh. Okay, and then we're going to go back up here. There we go. Let me go backwards. Let me see if you can see the banquet hall from there. Oh, look at this. That is really cool. Oh, there's the two po portrait ghosts shooting at each other. This 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 track, as you might imagine, here, let me turn back around. This track has a lot of secret passages. It's kind of like on the Mario Brothers ghost houses. Oh, I'm in the wall. Oh, apparently there's a secret passage there. What in the world? I don't even know where I am anymore. Hold on, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Sorry, I got turned around. I was trying to show you guys around, and I got turned around. All right, there we go. Now we're back on track. Right, I think we're going about to go in the attic here. There we are. We're in the attic. Go this way. Out the window. And we're in the graveyard. There's the marble bus. The singing. And the crypt keeper there. Now it looks like you're outside, of course, like it does in the real ride. But then we go back in here and you get to see the hitchhiking ghost here. There's the hitchhiking ghost. There's the windows where you can see yourself, and here's the bride, and that's it. Maybe if we can get a park reservation. Oh, Mom, yeah, they are booked. So anyway, this is haunted. Ooh, 
Wait, did I just... Is there a, is there a shortcut back there? I feel like I just went through the wall. Nope. Okay. Sometimes you can go through the wall in these games like on accident. Here, let's go through. Let's go through the. Uh, let's go through the fireplace this time. Let's see. Where's, okay, where are we here? Oh yes, they do. <laughs> that lady in the background is so creepy. Uh, here's the fireplace shortcut right here. Oh, is that not the one? Oh, I thought that was it. it. Must be another fireplace. I thought I went through there before. Let me try this again. Oh well. You get the point. Okay. <laughs> let's go to the next. Uh, let's go to the next one. Let's go to Splash Mountain. There should be a lightning lane that makes you faster. Yes, exactly. And then you have to pay for it. <laughs> Secret passage or programming bug, it could be. Yeah, that would be great for Switch, for sure. And again, subscribe if you're new. All right, let's do Splash Mountain. Hey, look, I'm on a log. Hey, Annette, I am Chip. All right, so here we go. Oh, I got in the briar patch there. So there you go. All right, my nose was itching. All right. There's the castle. love that they're doing zippity doodah in the background. So cool. So I just want to give you guys a tour around this game and we can play some races here in a minute. And again, I don't remember all the shortcuts. If you guys do, definitely put them in the chat. But I found a few just playing it for fun. But there are the frogs. Some of the, some of the graphics are not the best. They're like flat bitmaps or something. There was a shortcut I just passed. Okay, here we go. Now we're in the caves. Now we're underground. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, I don't know where we are right now. That's random. So this, this game's a little bit out of order. Oh, there he's got Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Fox has got Br'er Rabbit. And then... Wherever this is. Oh, and then Br'er Rabbit's... Or Br'er Bear's caught in the Br'er Rabbit trap. The drop is kind of in a random place. Here we are in the briar patch. Welcome home, Br'er Rabbit. So again, this is a little bit out of order. But it's still cool. All right. I forgot where the, the drop is. It's coming up, I think. Is this it? Let's see. There's the drop right there. Yay! And then we go, let me do the level over. Shit may get wet, yeah. So anyway, it's just so cool to see the castle. All right, so let's try another one. Okay, what do you want to see next? So we've got Jungle Cruise we haven't done yet. We've got Speedway, Thunder, Space. Test Track is kind of like a bonus game where you have to go find a lot of coins. Typhoon Lagoon, Disney... Wait, what's this? Disney Studios. It must be like a studio tour or something. That's cool. Lizard Beach and uh, Dinosaur. Hurricane Ian is coming to my house. I'll be oh by, okay by the time the hurricane comes. Oh, Rockstar. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely be, be safe. Carl says Space Mountain. Vicky says uh, Jungle Cruise. Typhoon. Dinosaur. Ooh, got all kinds of people. Let's see, I got two for Space and two for Jungle. Okay, three for jungle. Let's do it. We gotta run. This is fun. No worries, Todd. Thanks for being here. All right, here we go. We'll do space next, then, because that was the second most votes. This is kind of cool. So I'm back in a boat, obviously. I'm just kind of going slow so you can see stuff. Oh, there's the apes crashing the camp. Yeah, I can't imagine what this would look like with modern graphics on a Switch. I know the Switch doesn't have the best graphics ever. Like that's, you know, this is not a, not a PS5 or anything, but there's the elephants. Still pretty cool. 
There's the rhino. <laughs> what a rhino. Every elephants have incredible memories too. And yes, I'm going slow on purpose. John, thanks for subscribing. There's a uh, shrunken heads there. Or the skeletons on posts or whatever you call them. Uh, let's see what else we have here. This kind of reminds me of the game in Disney Quest. Anybody remember that? Let's see it. Okay, here's a village. That's interesting. Sorry, when I turn, it's either full turn or nothing. It's not analog where you can turn just a little bit at a time. I do wish they would institute or implement uh, analog controls, meaning that you can turn like a little bit instead of the whole thing. All right, so there's a gorilla. Now we're going in the cave. Oop, a little glitch there where it looked like I went outside. Some, some of the games are more, some of the levels are more detailed than others. Let me stay on the main, I see the shortcut, but let me stay on the main path here just to see what I can see. Oh, there's the backside of water. There we go, let me go around this way. You can see it, sorry if anybody's getting dizzy. It's the backside of water. Actually, I'm gonna go through the water. There we go. Hey, you can't do that on the ride. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, let's go back there. Let's go through the, let's go through the, let's go through the queue. That's cool, you can go through the queue building. Oh, I fell off. Okay, let me go back around. I was going slow so you could see it, but I can't go slow through a shortcut. <laughs> it's gonna tell me I'm going the wrong way, but that's okay. It is very hard to control. And we're gonna go right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so not much to see there. Well, there we go. Let's try space now. This isn't on Switch. Nope, this is on PC. It's an old Windows 98 PC. So, oops, hold on. I think I hit the wrong button. There we go. What does the studios thing do? I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Uh, Earful Towers doesn't have anything I guess you can do with it. Let's try Space Mountain. We used to play Disney Infinity with the Xbox. I never played that. Yeah, I drove through the backside of water. Yes, uh, Carl's Up Adventure. Yes, you had to paddle through the, um, <clears throat> through the screen in front of you on that Jungle Cruise game. Yes, and then the Disney Quest. So crazy. Let's see. All right. Where's Ginger? She snaps. Yeah. Some of them have Disneyland features like the Up Waterfall and Pirates. Yep. Uh, the it says Studios, I believe, is a coin collecting one. Yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to catch up on chat. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so I don't know what time we'll be live on Resort TV One tomorrow. I do have an Epcot pass, but we'll see. Hopefully, we can get Mom and Dad one too. I was only able to get one this time. Space Mountain. Ah, this music. This is from the Disneyland, the old Disneyland version of Space Mountain. Look at this. This is super cool. So we're in the queue, looks like. And it looks like we go through... Okay, it looks like we go kind of around in circles here. Lift off! This must be the, the lift hill, I guess. What if this is more like the Disneyland version? Oh, look, there's the moon. That's cool. Studios, you drive through the whole theme park. Oh, cool. All right. I'll have to check that. Let's do that next then. It's just a really well thought out game. I, I, it didn't really receive as much publicity as I feel like it should have <clears throat> at the time. I think Disney promoted it on their own stuff. We're going to stay off the, off the shortcut for now. Okay, next time we'll go up the shortcut. I guess I want to see what that is. It's really pretty. You, you know, you kind of got to do the best you can when you're doing a dark ride because there's not a whole lot to see on Space Mountain anyway. Then this is the theme from Impressions to France, by the way, so it's kind of a weird thing that this was on the Disneyland ride for so long. The backgrounds are cool. A little gal galactic backgrounds and stuff. And we're still on lap one, so... This is almost like those, like, worlds as you go out of, uh, go through, uh, the people mover part, like the coral moons of Pisces 7 and all that. Ooh, just went through something. That's weird. There might be some graphics glitches too, because I'm using kind of a, a direct 3D uh, emulator, because this is written for like direct DirectX 5 or 6 or something. So I don't know, anyway. 
Still on lap one, surprisingly. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's lap two. Let's go the other way this time. I want to go up high. Let's see what we go. This is the rainbow road of the game. I love it. <clears throat> Oops, I should have. Okay, go this way. I feel like it looks like I don't know how to drive because every time I turn, I'm turning all the way. Does Disney have another one similar to this on the App Store? No, they don't. They they really need to remake this. <clears throat> I think if they publicize it enough, they could make it for the phone and the Switch, maybe. They could make it for, you know, iPhone, Android, and Switch, and I think people would love it, honestly. They could, pub they could you know, have it for demo in the parks or something, publicize it. They could update the rides a little bit. I don't know. I feel like that's an area Disney, I mean, obviously the Dreamlight Valley and some of this stuff is, is fine, but I think that's an area Disney could definitely improve as software available for their parks and franchises. DirectX 5 or 6, yeah, hashtag memories. Wait, did I miss the, did I miss the high side? I did, didn't I? I wanted to go high, let's go back. Okay, there we go. I'm going the wrong way on purpose, I was talking and not paying attention. Let's see, I want to go up. Oh, okay, I think that's all there is to it. Sorry. Okay, anyway. Oh, this way, okay, here, I was gonna go this way. Whoops, maybe not. Sorry. There, right here. Okay. Now we're on the secret little alternate pathway. And that wasn't a big deal. Okay. All right. That's cool, though. So let's go on to... I want to go see the Hollywood Studios one. For a combine of this channel and your regular, you could do the Pirate Quest game. Oh, that'd be cool, too. You should make it for them in the App Store. Yeah, I'm not a coder. The game in VR would be cool. Big Thunder Mountain. We'll do that after Studios. I want to see what this is. Here's the warp zone, right? <laughs> okay, this is a collect 30 coins too, but we're in studios. That's cool. Look at this. Okay. This is cool. It's like randomly driving around town here. There's the back lot tour, which isn't there anymore, obviously. It's a little random, but it's here. It's nice. So I have to get how many coins? 30? All right, I have four minutes. That shouldn't be hard. I, I do like that they have these other levels. It makes it a little more... Um, here, let's go. There's the Earful Tower. It makes it a little more variety. You can see some of these buildings, like on like on Hollywood Boulevard. There's the Dark Room. By the way, there's not going to be an announcement video on Resort TV 1 tomorrow for where we're going. So, I think I already went this way. Let's see. Yep. Let me, let me check each corner. There's actually was there's some coins right here, too. Okay, let's go through the middle a little bit. Okay. Back up. Music is interesting. Hollywood theme. Does it have a waltz plane? It doesn't look like it. I need 10 more coins to finish this level. Uh, Keith, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. So we're, we're doing a little crossover of Disney and um, <clears throat> retro retro gaming. It's like, it's all in one. And I'm sure some people are getting sick as I drive here. Let's see, can I get, uh, let's get this one first. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Okay, I need, Need six more. I'm just kind of like randomly driving. I'm sure, like, if you knew your way around a little better, it would probably be easier to, like, actually get all the coins. Let's go to this one and then we'll back up. There we go. Uh, Tito, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. 
and we're going to be doing a wide variety of stuff on this channel. I, I really want to do, um, you know, more with my Tandy 1000 that's sitting next to me. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing of some brand new floppy disks that haven't been opened since like 1989 and play some old DOS games, uh, not live, but on a separate video. I'm going to install an Ethernet card uh, in my <clears throat> in my Tandy 1000. Uh, I'm going to be doing an um, unboxing of uh, Oregon Trail, of an original Oregon Trail game. It's Carmen San Diego, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I need one more, seriously. One more. One more coin. Let's see. The trick is to find it. Let's see if I kind of see it real quick. Is that up here on any of these platforms? Hey, Sean. Sandy Pandy. All right, so what, what are we doing here? Let me go up by the theater. Nope, nothing there. Let's see. Well, now we got to do it. Like, I don't want to... Wait, oh, I see one up here. There's one right there. Yay. Got it. It'd be fun to see Roller Coaster Tattoo. Or Roller Coaster Tycoon. I can't talk. I know I say tattoo. Yeah, that's awesome, Avery. I used to I used to love the shell used on Tandy 1000. Yes, that was a good one. The Decimate, I've got that. Are we getting Friday Night Live? Yes, we are, Brian. Absolutely. Because Disney is... If you haven't heard, Disney is reopening. <clears throat> this is cool. So Disney's reopening tomorrow. It's on the ramp in the middle. Thanks, Veronica. We got it. I know the chat's delayed, but I appreciate the help for sure. That's awesome. Look at that. All right, so... All right, let's see. <clears throat> Somebody... Somebody mentioned uh, Big Thunder, so let's try that. And then we'll try some actual races and show you what that looks like. But this way we can kind of go slow. You've died of dysentery, that's right. So here's Thunder Mountain. Look at the hidden Mickey cactus there, isn't that cool? <clears throat> Dancing teepees. Anybody know what these little circles do? I can't really tell. It doesn't seem to do anything, but it makes a noise. There's an outhouse. Oh, here we go. In the cave. So some of these really follow the ride closely, and some of them are a little bit more loosely based. Obviously, you can't, you know, you can't, like, do a direct recreation of the coaster. I wish there was a race through Horizons. This ride was, or this game was made right as Horizons was closing. Uh, it was put out in 2000, so it's 22 years old. Uh, but Horizons closed in 1999. The water tower. Super fun, though. Oops, I missed the coin. Let's go up this way. Oh, wow, look at this. <clears throat> TNT, no. There's like a waterfall there. That's cool. I kind of half expect to see the castle in the background. Hey, where are we at now? Oh, we're in the cave with the stalactites and stalagmites and stuff. Anybody remember from science class? Stalactites are from the top. <laughs> Alright. This is interesting. The three circles open a shortcut. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. Thank you. I'll have to remember that for next time. I just haven't played this game that much, so thank you for that. Rhonda, you must remember this game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the music is great. There we are, back at the beginning. <clears throat> All right, so you get the idea there. Okay, so now... Let's see what else we got here. What have we not played yet? Let's see. Uh, let's try. Um, let's try. Ty let's try Typhoon Lagoon. I haven't done that one yet. Typhoon Lagoon. We need to do Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach, Dinosaur, and Test Track to show you all the tracks, I believe. Oh, and Speedway. We haven't done Speedway yet. Mario Kart super fun, but they can definitely remake this. Absolutely. I love this game. Played it on Sega Dreamcast. So uh, tomorrow's gonna be a surprise where we are. <clears throat> oh. Okay. So here we are, Typhoon Lagoon. There. Oh, there we go. Kind of appropriate with the hurricane we just had. So 
So I don't know what time we'll be live tomorrow morning. Uh, maybe around 11 or noon, somewhere around there. We probably won't be the first people live in the park or anything, but we'll be live at some point. So just stay tuned. This is really cool. Oh, look at that random alligator jumping around. Happy Landings ice cream. Welcome to Typhoon Lagoon. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm just looking around a little bit. I probably won't finish L30 coins on this one. I keep I keep going the wrong way to get those. You have to go the other way over the over the uh, ramps to get those. The shark reef, huh? Nothing over there. It's really fun. Oh, there's Typhoon Chilies. Or Placid Palms, I guess. Super fun. Keel Hall Falls. Yes, we did Haunted Mansion a little bit earlier. <clears throat> Let's see if I test my theory here. That, by the way, that little submarine back there is like it was in, uh, is uh, like it would have been in Shark Reef. Wait, let me back up. I'm not gonna make it this time. There we go. Let's see if I, let's see if I can get that from going this way. Oh, wow! I went over it. Well, now I have to do it. All right. Thanks for staying with me. This is super fun. We get to discover this together. If I go like this. There we go. You have to, like, not go too fast. Ooh, let's go in the, under the, uh, the ship here. Oh, there's a ton of them here. Wow. Yeah, so this one would be harder to get all the coins, but it's still a lot of fun. So you get the idea. So that's Typhoon. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Laguna Gator. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't, I didn't know he had a name. That's cool. I've seen him around. There isn't the thing is a new Disney racing game called Disney Speedstorm was announced earlier this year, and yet none of the tracks are Disney parks themed except for Pirates. Oh, really? Yeah, they should have they should have um, definitely parks themed. All right, let's see. What should we do now? I guess let's do test track while we're on the theme of um, of um, collecting coins here. Is the old test track music? Yeah, if you do want to play this game on your PC, be prepared to spend a little time getting it working. It's not super easy to do. So now somehow, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Somehow you can get up here. Oh, here. There we go. And we've already done that. I think we were just going the other direction. But there's another loop on the other side. Oh, I see what happens. Okay, so both sides are open. I see what it is. Okay, both sides are open, but you come out up top. That makes sense. Play Starflight for DOS. I don't know if I played that. <clears throat> no, this is the uh, PC version for Windows 98. I think it's technically for 95 and 98, but wow. The car's crashing all over the place. What happens if you get hit? Ugh! <laughs> they hit me. That wasn't nice. These doors? Nope, I can't go in the doors. A little glitch over there. This is not the biggest level ever, but let's go in this other room over here. There looks like there's a side room over here. Let's go in here. There we go. Kind of cool. It has very little to do with the actual ride, but the music is fun. Oh, wow. To get in that one. All right, so you get the idea on that one. Those are not—I will say—those are not as much fun to me as the other ones, but it's still there's still a lot of tracks. All right, so we did rock and roller coaster. Uh, let's do speedway. We haven't done that yet. Let's see. We need. WWVR VR for retired attractions. No, agreed. I wish they could have made those. Thanks, Dark Nihilus. Appreciate that. Love this game. Found every secret and coin. That's awesome. 
Usually, I appreciate that. Well, I, I will have to get, get your advice on that, on how to play. How will we know when you go live tomorrow? Greg, uh, watch the social media and uh, watch the announcements. So uh, I'll make an announcement. Just have to be following us on social media and all the things. Welcome, Margaret Riley. And thank you, Gretchen, for subscribing. Appreciate that. A couple minutes ago. Now, here we go. Speedway. I mean, this has to be a race. It's an actual speedway. Oh, yeah, so this is pretty... Oh, look at the Mickey balloon. That's cool. <laughs> There's little topiaries there. There used to be more... There used to be topiaries on the track. There's the castle. This is fun. Oh, there's a contemporary. Speed limit 120. I'll do my best. This is a neat track. A little tunnel here. Uh, yes, Dinosaur and Blizzard Beats, that's right. We're going up. Is this a ramp? Oh, it sure is. That's cool. They should put one of those on the speedway. That'd be totally safe. Oh, what just happened? Yeah, just jump tracks there. This is so neat. And like I said, the graphics aren't too bad. I mean, obviously it's not as, you know, again, it's not modern PC graphics or modern PlayStation or Xbox graphics, but... I'm still a big fan of the Switch, and I honestly am okay that it doesn't have as good a graphics as the Xbox and the PC. Oh, Mickey's backwards now. I love that it moves. Yeah, this is really cool. No Bay Lake Tower. Nope, not in 2000 there wasn't. You're right. Astro Orbiter, Tomorrowland. Oh, there's no People Mover, too. We should have a People Mover track. All right, so we played a lap on that one. Okay, let's go do uh, Dinosaur, and then we'll do Blizzard Beach. <clears throat> All right, here's Dinosaur. Hey, Noel. Oh, look, we got a Time Rover vehicle. That's pretty cool. Is the music about the right volume? Can you guys hear it okay? Ooh, wow, like literally racing between dinosaurs. That's cool. This is neat. I haven't played these for years, so I'm kind of rediscovering them too. I played a few, but I made sure not to play all the tracks so I could actually react to them with you guys. Starflight is a space exploration game. That's cool. I'll have to check that out. Universal Jurassic Park had some major damage on that ride. I hope none of the dinosaurs got out. And seriously, we haven't really talked much about the hurricane, but I am super thankful we didn't have any damage and we didn't lose power. Very, very lucky. I know there's a lot of people around here that were not that lucky at all. So thoughts and prayers for them for sure, and we, we may be doing a little something to help them out tomorrow, so stay tuned on that. Oh, what just happened? you go back in time I guess that's cool I love that super fun hey Tim Rimple you alright Tim music is epic Uh, Megan, no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I haven't raced against the other characters yet. I wanted to show the races first, and then we'll do against the other characters. So yeah, I'm just showing you the races. Okay, last one, Blizzard Beach, and then we'll start racing against people. We'll see if I'm any good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Brian. I'm glad that you're wearing your resort T-bone hat. Oh, we love you guys too. That's awesome. 
Mike Wheeler, still no power here. Thank goodness for battery packs. Oh my goodness, Mike. Please let us know if you need anything, Mike. Hopefully your power gets back on soon. This is cool. Yes, I heard part of the Hulk ride is underwater. I, I'm sure Universal will get it fixed, but... Uh, Universal parks are not open tomorrow, it looks like. They're just uh, City Walk and uh, Volcano Bay. This is cool. I'm in a snowmobile here. It's like a Mario pipe over there. Got Deck the Halls going on. No man, there's no woman. <laughs> Not our dino, that's right. <laughs> Ooh, can you go down the main slide? Definitely want to do that. I must have missed that part of the track. Now I need to go back and try it. Yikes. Oh, we're melting. Okay, so here's the beginning. So let's do another lap and let's go back around and see if we can find... Oops, see if we can find something else here. I love how you can just run over stuff. It's super satisfying. Yeah, next we'll race against other racers and I'll see how to use items and all that stuff. That'll be fun to try and figure out. And I'll show you the story mode. There's like an intro screen that shows up. For a second, I thought those were dinosaurs. They're like palm trees, actually. It's like a little Christmas medley. Okay, let's see. How do we get into this special area here? That's a snowmaker. Somewhere. Hello, Miss Snowman. I'll go slow here so I can find it. Summit plummet. Let's see, how do I get there? Uh. Oh, I guess you can't. There must be another secret entrance to it somewhere that I'm not seeing, but that's okay. Cool. All right. So, yes, we're going live tomorrow on Resort TV One. Yep, we're going to be in the parks tomorrow. It was back after the third ring. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'll try it when we race against everybody. Sharp left. All right. We'll try it again here in a minute. Josh survived the hurricane. Thanks, Chris. All right. So let's go back. We're going to quit this game. And we're going to go into story mode. And if you missed it earlier, this is the Main Street fly-through. Collect all the circles and go through the cabin, I think. Okay. Thanks, Megan. We'll try that next time. But yeah. So here's story mode. But you can see, again, if you missed the beginning, you can see the Main Street fly-through. <clears throat> It's really cool. Classic Main Street. Mike Lear said hello to everyone who said hello. Alright. Welcome to Walt Disney World. Okay, so we're gonna do the adventure mode. So there's a really cool little area here. Uh, story mode, so let's go through that and we'll see if we can see that. New game. Look at that. Well, hello there. Cricket's the name. Jiminy Cricket. And today, I have a tale for you that's sure to make you smile. Well, <laughs> at least I hope it does. It's all here in my storybook. It started this morning when our friends Chip and Dale were out exploring Walt Disney World and, well, they let their curiosity get the better of them. You see, through a small door in the side of the castle, they discovered a path that leads to one of the hidden treasures of the park, the Walt Disney World Magic Machine. I've never seen such a wondrous creation. And you know, so it's cute. used every night to shoot off the most beautiful fireworks. Well, those curious chipmunks got a little too close to that machine and accidentally dropped some of their acorns into it. And the machine didn't like that one bit. It huffed and it puffed and it tried to get itself unstuck. But it was no use. 
Those acorns gummed up the Gearsatronics and Springle Nomadic so badly that it just stopped working altogether. All our furry little friends could do was run for cover. The machine smoked and it sparked and it blew itself apart, sending pieces flying all over Walt Disney World. Oh no. So now it's up to you to make sure the fireworks blast off tonight. You've got to help Chip and Dale find the pieces of the machine and put them back together in time for the show. That's so cool. Everyone visiting the park is depending on you. So good luck. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, hold on just a second. I, I, I don't know why, but I like your little, uh, I like being Chip, so. All right. Brian, thank you so much for your kind words. said you want to be a moderator. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, definitely, if we need extra moderators, I'll let you know for sure. That's awesome. Thank you. Give me flashbacks of playing this game for hours on end. I don't think I played this game for hours, so I don't think I ever learned all the secrets. Status 0%. So I'll, I'll play a few and I'll, pl I'll save the game. So wait a minute. Which ones can we do? Can we just play any game? Maybe we have to play certain levels. It looks like we have to play Thunder first. Alright, so let's start with Thunder. Let's see what happens. No pressure. Yeah, I don't know what the difficulty is on this, but we will see. I'm usually not too bad at racing, but I haven't used the items and stuff too much yet. So here we go. Boom. What does a teacup do? I just shot it backwards. I don't know what it does. There's another item. Random explosion. <laughs> Alright. So there's only four other racers in the game? It's weird. I vaguely remember this game, Kyle says. I hear the new Disney Dream something Disney Dreamlights game is awesome. Yes, mom and dad and uh, mom and Jenna have played it. I don't know if dad has, but mom and Jenna have played it. This is fun. What do these coins do? Do I just I just need to collect them, I guess. Not sure what they do, but we'll figure it out. Do I just have to win the race to get the pieces? Do I, do I have to actually go through all the shortcuts and stuff? We'll figure that out. We'll play a few of these. I don't want to play like we just played every race, but I want to. Um, we'll, we'll we'll play this again. I don't want to stay up too late tonight since we're going to be live tomorrow. But I wanted to just get on here and show you. Oh, hello. It's like, wow, are they going to race me? <laughs> that evil duck guy got me. I don't know who that is. Not a character. Oops, I'm going to die. Not a character I'm super familiar with. I love that they're little Mickey balloons, that's cool. Okay, I got a teacup, whatever that means. Oh, I got for falling rocks. Win the races to get pieces. That's what I thought, Megan. Oh, I got acorns! I wonder if that's like a shell. This is super cute. I love it. And for 2000, several people said for 2000, those graphics and animations were amazing. They really were. Like today, 22 years later, obviously it looks a little dated, but 22 years ago, this was top, you know, this is cutting edge. All right, where's the secret here? I think I missed the first circle. Now I'll hold on to the acorn. Teacups will spin your opponent around. Oh, cool. That makes sense. Evil duck guy. Yeah, I guess it's got to be his name. <laughs> I love how every time I get a blue, he says, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Did I pick easy mode or something? Or okay, I don't know. This is fun. All right, we got we're on the second lap. We got one more lap after this, and then we'll then we'll see what piece we get. It'll play like a couple more races, and then I'll probably get off of here because I want to get some rest. But it's fun to do a little bit just to hang out with you guys and play this game that kind of covers both of my interests. Retro Tech and Disney. And I'll have to explore this game a little more and learn some of the secret passages and stuff. Looks like 10 is the maximum amount of coins I can collect. Is it like on Mario Kart, wherever the faster, the more coins you get, the faster you go? 
up to a certain limit, and then when you got spun around, you lose all your coins. That must be what it is. Oh, teacup. Okay. The teacup's like bananas or something, like the banana peel in Mario Kart. Thanks, Vicky. This is fun. <laughs> the hat must be strapped on. Yeah, for sure. Gotta love live stream this game. Thanks, Rockstar. It's oh, hello. Can't run into the TPs apparently. Yeah, it's a super fun game. All right. Well, I am on. Um, just I'm quite a bit ahead of everybody here, so maybe it's on easy mode. It's basically it basically is a Disney version of Mario Kart, but it's really well done because it gives you the idea that you're in all these different rides that we all know and love. What did that happen? I got two of those things, whatever that was. Alright, so that, next time I'm going to have to actually like try some different paths, but I don't want to mess up my lead. Well, I think we're safe. Maybe if I don't run into the wall eight, 18 times. Are they catching up with me? <laughs> Random green thing. Oh no, they're really not. Okay. Alright, here's the end of the race. Let's see what happens when you win. Woo! Congratulations! So actually, uh, six of us racing. Okay. I will don't mind me. Oh, Queen of Awesome. No, it's totally fine. Diddy Kong Racing. I loved that one. You were not old. Nice going, friend. <clears throat> You've won your first race and earned the first piece of the Walt Disney World Magic Machine. Uh, Kyle now, sent me a... Oh, Kyle, yeah, I'll check that out. Thank you. An item for the channel. That'll be awesome. Thank you. I will check it out. Yeah, if you guys have any items you'd like to maybe donate to the channel, if it's something I can use, I'll definitely let you know. Um, appreciate it. I have a limited space here in the house, so I have to be careful. I can't take any huge old PCs. I've got my Tandy right next to me here, and that's that's uh, what one that I really wanted to have up here, but I don't have any room for a lot of other ones. But um, I may have room for, like, um, you know, laptops, a Commodore 64, maybe an old gaming machine or something that I don't have. So, yeah, we'll see. Do you have this memorized? No, I don't. All right, let's play one more. Uh, here, let's save the game, though. Uh, here, let's, let's actually save it. We'll save it right here. Continue. Five percent. All right, let's play one more. Um, so it looks like you can only play certain races. So what do we want to play here? Let's play. Well, we can't play Rock and Roller Coaster yet. Okay. So let's play. Why was I anti-Sega? That's a good question. It wasn't on purpose. I don't know how yeah, when you're a kid you just get to be a fan of a certain thing. I just supported Nintendo more. But I did buy a Sega Game Gear. And I have grown to love some Genesis games recently. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. It's a PC that connects to CRT. It's 7 terabytes of games. Whoa, okay. So yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. And I do have a CRT over here. So we may have to check that out. Wow. Thanks, Kyle. I'll check that out. Let's do Dinosaur. It'll be our last level here, maybe. Even the fonts at the top of the screen are the same as Mario Kart. It is very similar, isn't it? I love how they made Daisy the Evil Queen. Ah! <laughs> oh well, it's alright. We'll say it's been nice to have this time off from school just to uh, rest. I'm about to get rocked here. Oh, and they got me. Wow, they're going to race me this time? That's cool. That's fun. I was like, wow, they're actually going to put up a little fight this time. Eh. Ah. 
Cool. I totally thought that was the way to go. I was going right towards the wall. <clears throat> That's an interesting sound effect. I don't know what these glowing orbs do. Sega, yeah. I thought that was the villain on the DuckTales. Oh, it could be. It could be. You're right. I think that is the villain on DuckTales. Queen something or other. Yeah. Oh, somebody passed me. I'm not allowed to do that. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Excuse me. I gotta catch up to him enough that I can actually get in with this thing. Let's see. I love that you can shoot backwards just on Mario Kart. You just have to pull the joystick backwards. Uh oh. I still got acorns, so that should help me. It's kind of like in Mario Kart when you've got shells around you, it protects you from getting hit by stuff, which is nice. Or you got acorns around you in this case. It's a neat race. Magicka! I think that's right. It does kind of look like Evil Daisy Duck, though, but you're right. I couldn't... I didn't remember that. It's been so long since I watched DuckTales. You guys keep me honest. Okay, I think I'm about to get rocked again. At least they're trying this time. I, I do appreciate the effort. Okay. Teacup for you. I gotta get some coins here to go a little faster. like learn a shortcut or something that would probably be helpful. I missed that. Uh, hello. I just did something. Oh, I've got a, I've got like a star. It's like invincibility power. Oh, wrong game. Okay. Oh, I got teacupped. Boy, they might actually get me this time. Wow. Okay. Bye. What just happened? Wow, I'm losing bad. Yikes. That escalated quickly. Luckily, it's a long race, so I should be able to catch up. Get this special item here. Oh, do not get the teacup. Those are bad, apparently. What is happening right now? Why am I a frog? It seems like that's not helpful. <laughs> Apparently I'm gonna lose this. It's like Mario Kart, it can escalate quickly. It's going to be hard to catch up, for sure. Wow. Didn't do it. <laughs> Give it another try. Okay, thanks, Jiminy. All right, let's see. Let's try one more race so I can actually win one. Uh, let's see, I think I can do Blizzard Beeps. Let's do that one. Tara, it's been a great day. Sudoku, thank you so much for being a longtime follower. Appreciate it. The Wikipedia article for this says, aside from Chip, oh, all the characters are original to the game. Interesting. I have OG DuckTales on DVD. That's amazing. That's awesome. I need to pay attention, apparently, because apparently these guys know how to race now. They didn't know how in the first lap game, but now they know how again, which is nice. I 
Probably is that they're taking the uh, shortcuts or something that I don't know. That could be part of it. Take that shortcut. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Shortcut! Ooh, I'm going down the slide. I love it. This is fun. <clears throat> wow, I'm like rocking this. In third place for some reason, but yeah. There we go. Look at that. I feel like that rocket's not helpful. Maybe I have to like stop it earlier or something? I don't know. This is really cool though. All right, apparently I have to practice. Ooh, I got hit there. <laughs> All right. I wonder how the other characters are going so much faster. There's not really much more I can do to go faster other than get more of these special items. Unless there's like more shortcuts that I don't know about. But I think I found the big shortcut. I think I see. Is this frog turn the guy, somebody else to, into a frog or something? Is that what that does? Yeah, I like that. I like that. That worked out well. I just gotta catch up to whoever's in first. I'm gonna skip the shortcut for now. I just wanna catch, I just wanna chase him right down. Okay, I think I'm getting close. I must be getting close. I think I see him. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think they got me. Oh, I did it! <laughs> right at the last minute. You're being outraced by a cricket. I know. What's going on? <laughs> Hit someone while you are a rocket to blow them up too. Okay. Interesting. It's weird though because it still feels like it pushes you back further on the track. All right. Well, at least I won one. So we'll stop. We'll stop while we're, while we're ahead. So I need to get some sleep. That's fun. <laughs> I love how Jiminy can tell the story and he also gets to race with me. Shoot those acorns, they're targeted to hit wizard in front of you. Okay, cool. I should have shot him earlier. <laughs> awesome. That was fun. Let's save my game here. Alright. That's fun. Okay, so let me get out of this for now. What a fun game, though, huh? It's already saved, so we should be good. I'll do one more Main Street flyover. So thanks for being here, guys. Definitely subscribe to this channel, Retro TV One Tech. Uh, super excited to uh, have you all on here, and uh, also subscribe to our main channel, Resort TV One. So, but we're going to be doing a lot of cool tech videos, and uh, can't wait to be more of a part of the Retro Tech community because there's a lot of cool people in there too. So, you know, we're just just a newbie in the Retro Tech community, but we're we're super excited to join it. Did you ever play Miss? That was my favorite game back in the day. Oh yeah, Mike Wheeler, I love that one. Yeah, Queen of Awesome. Why wasn't Mr. Toad in this, right? Maybe people would have been mad because the, the ride was just closed in 97. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Welcome to Walt Disney World. 
I love Jiminy Cricket's voice in this. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and quit the game from here, though. Alright, there we go. Small World's gonna be stuck in your head for the rest of the night. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright. Well, so we'll see you tomorrow on, Re on Resort TV 1. <clears throat> but uh, this is Retro TV 1 Tech. And uh, again, thanks for being here. Um, just subscribe and check us out. Uh, I don't know. I've got other social media. It's not really set up. I usually would say check us out on all the social media. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Um, I don't know, probably around noon, 11 or noon. Um, and um, I've got a park pass for Epcot, so I might start there. So we'll see about that. But um, yeah. I don't know exactly what we're going to do for Friday Night Live. I do know we'll be live all day for um, for Saturday um, for Epcot's 40th anniversary. Even if they don't do much, we'll still be live. And um, besides that, it's going to be super fun. There won't be an announcement video tomorrow because um, we'll just go live in the morning. So that'll be cool. So thanks for joining us. Yes, the parks are open tomorrow. Um, they're open at different time periods. So starting at, starting at uh, 10 for Magic and 11 for Epcot. The only reservation I could get was Epcot. So anyway, yeah, fun times. So I think they're trying to keep the crowds low for tomorrow. So I think that's why they're not uh, letting it go, letting the reservations go up as much. Hey, Josh, I just subscribed to your new channel. That's awesome. You got to race at Blizzard Beach, which is no longer at Disney World. Actually, Patrick, it is here. It's just not open anymore. I hope they have it. I hope they reopen it. And Kyle, thank you. I'll check out your offer on the uh, email. Sounds like a really cool system. So hopefully I, it's something I can hook up to my uh, CRT over here. So awesome. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, we'll see you very soon. We'll see you tomorrow uh, on resort TV one and uh, have more videos on retro TV one coming soon. I think the next video will be Tandy uh, with my, um, the floppy disks. I want to load some old DOS games onto the Tandy. So we'll play some DOS games on Tandy. So check that out when it happens and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on resort TV one. All right, everybody. Oh, Brian just subscribed. Thanks Brian for subscribing. I love the little hopping dinosaur. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks Mike. Thanks Allie. Thanks Brittany. Watch later. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Adam, Jerry. Yep, for sure. And if you're here in Florida, I hope you stayed safe during the hurricane. Um, and if you're not in Florida, you know, definitely um, send thoughts and prayers to those who were affected by the storm. So, all right, everybody. So we'll see you next time. So for now, enjoy that tech and keep it retro.